Okay, what it do, what it do, Manchester United fans and all Manchester United fans around the world. How are you people doing here? Back again with another football video here. So, of course, today is a sad day for me and every other diehard Manchester United fan just because the David De Gea era at United is officially over. And what really breaks my heart about De Gea leaving United is that I really thought he was going to raise a Champions League trophy with United, but sadly, that's not the case anymore. And the only thing I will say is that United, they have to, you know, basically, uh, obviously, at this point, United, they need to go all in out and get Andre Onana because obviously Andre Onana, I think he's a solid keeper. You know, I've uh, I followed him at Ajax. I still remember when he was playing at Ajax together with Frankie de Jong, you know, that uh, legendary 18-19 Ajax team that should have made it to a Champions League final. You know, how the hell did they not make it to a Champions League final is beyond me. But yeah, uh, Onana, I would be okay with us having him as goalkeeper, you know. I personally think Andre Onana to Manchester United is a wonderful idea just because with Andre Onana, I think we would be getting ourselves a very, very solid keeper with him because, hey, like I said, man, you know, with Andre Onana, still remember when he played for, um, played for Ajax and I just feel like that with Onana he can really be a difference maker at Manchester United so you know I really wish people would give Andre Onana a chance I think he has all the potential and I think he has what it takes to become the number one keeper for Manchester United because if I'm being honest here that's really the guy that I want you know uh being the goalkeeper for United next season is Andre Onana I think that's realistically the best option for Manchester United but it's like give him a chance see what he can do at Manchester and yeah honestly uh, that's what United fans really need to do okay the ones that want to criticize United for going after De Gea, I mean, for going after Onana, because I've been reading the tweets. All I have to say is maybe actually give him a chance, okay? Because Onana hasn't even played a minute for Manchester, okay? So it's like, yeah, I'd be, um, I'd be, I'd be all for us getting Andre Onana at this point, you know, and uh, obviously, uh, one thing I will say, though, about De Gea is that, you know, he wasn't treated fairly at United, okay? That's the only thing I can say is that, uh, obviously, the, the way how United have treated him this past year has been really, really messed up, just, uh, you know, and I'm just wondering right now, is that, will this come back and bite United back in the behind next season or no? Because obviously, you know, United, they've qualified for a Champions League, which is good. But at the same time, I'm hoping that United will actually do something with it, with it and that they're not going to be one and done in the Champions League uh, tournament if they do uh, manage to qualify for it. But uh, yeah, the David De Gea era at United is officially over and... I really don't know what else I'm supposed to say, man. Um, you know, players kind of go at Manchester United, but David De Gea, he's the last player. Uh, I think he's, yeah, I believe he's the, still the last player from the Sir Alex Ferguson era at Manchester United. So it's going to mark the official end of all the players that came here during the, uh, you know, uh, it's going to mark an official end of the reign of all the transfers that Sir Alex Ferguson has uh, implemented or has uh, completed at, at uh, Manchester and De Gea, I think is the last of them. So this officially marks an end of an era. And the only thing I have to say right now is I'm just hoping that United are going to be able to have some motivation and come together as a team for this upcoming Premier League season, because obviously I'm still a fan. I'm still, you know, looking forward to this upcoming Premier League season. But one thing I will say, though, is that United, um, I'm just hoping there's not going to be any more drama at the club under Ten Hag. And I'm just hoping that with Ten Hag finally, um, you know, uh, being the uh, official with Ten Hag, you know, well, what I meant to say is that with Ten Hag, I hope he's going to be able to have full control of the club, okay? As soon as, you know, Qatar hopefully buys United here, because obviously I'm still holding out hope that United will be bought by Qatar, and and that, you know, and that, um, and that, um, Ten Hag, like I said, has full control, okay? If you want United to su succeed and raise a Champions League trophy, then just give Ten Hag full control of the club, period. No excuses, quit uh, quit criticizing Ten Hag and just fully back the manager, okay? So that's what I think every United fan should do right now is just fully back Ten Hag and just trust the process with Ten Hag. That's all we really got to do at this point right now is just let Ten Hag work his magic. And, you know, hopefully people will stop interfering in Ten Hag's uh, decision-making ability because, you know, what people don't understand is that it doesn't freaking help when Ten Hag doesn't have full control of Manchester United, okay? I'm talking about him having full control of uh, the transfer decisions. It's not help. It's not helping him at all, okay? So it's like give Ten Hag full control of the transfer decisions and maybe within the next two or three years, United can once again raise it Champions League trophy like how they did in 2008 because let's cut the BS here what United's main goal should be is winning a goddamn Champions League trophy like come on man
It's like, we, us fans, we deserve better, okay? People can say what they want about Manchester United, okay? We're diehard fans. We stick with our team through thick and thin. We're not like some other fans of some certain football clubs that, you know, jump ship the second the team's doing bad. It's like, not nah, even with City winning the Champions League, we're still Manchester United fans at the end of the day because that's what makes us football fans, you know, win, lose, or draw. But at the same time, it's like, God damn it, United, we really have to, um, we really have a lot of work to do. That's all I'm going to say.